Hi everyone, this is Emily with QSYS. I'm Ecosystem Product Manager, and today I'm joined by David Konis with Control Design. How are you, David? Hey, hello, Emily. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you do with Control Design. Yeah, um, my name is David Konis. I'm the founder and CEO of Control Design. Uh, I started the company in Lausanne area, Switzerland, in 2008. And um, we are specialized in designing and programming AV control systems. Awesome. So we have worked with you and you're a developer partner of ours um, for the last couple of years. And what the developer partner program is, is it's a way for us to partner with third party developers such as yourselves to create QSYS plugins and create integrations within our ecosystem for our other manufacturers called technology partners or even for utility plugins. Um, we've worked with Control Design for a while and we've created a few plugins. Uh, tell us a little bit about your company and what you do in the, inside the market. Uh, we work closely with manufacturers, integrators, and end users. So that's um, thanks to, to our collaboration with everyone in the value chain, we are able to understand the needs of both the integrators and the end users. That's why our expertise is especially valuable for manufacturers, helping them to develop their own plugins. Awesome. So one of those plugins that we've released recently and that you worked on with us uh, is the KNX plugin. Yeah. So w this, um, this plugin is amazing. It gives us uh, the ability to take in sensor data and control KNX products and do dimming, lighting, shade controls, all of those things. Let's see that plugin in a little bit more detail. Let's see how to install and use the QC SkyNX IP interface plugin. First, go to Asset Manager to download it. Search for KNX in the Explorer and install the plugin. You can also download an Excel file to help you to enter the KNX address table a design example with control block samples for writing and reading values, and a help file. Once installed, the plugin will be in the KNX directory of QC's designer. Drag the plugin into your design. In the properties, set the number of KNX group addresses from 1 to 260. Default is 20. Like all certified plugins, you can choose to display the debug window and select the debug level. A KNX option is available to filter the KNX bus information. Under Control Pins, you can edit status bars, interface information, and expose values related to group addresses, for example, the value of address number 1. Once done, connect to your core or work in emulation mode. Once connected, select the network card your KNX gateway is connected to. Two options to connect to the KNX gateway. First, you know the IP address and enter it directly. Second, you don't know it and initiate a discovery mode. Click on the detected gateway and IP communication is established. All necessary information is displayed in the interface information field. If the status bar indicates OK, the IP communication is correct between the core and the KNX gateway. In this case, the KNX status bar indicates compromised because the address table is empty. Let's move to the group address section. Name is a friendly name you can customize for your convenience. Address is your KNX group address in format layer 3 only. Data type is a list of address types supported by the plugin. There is 1 bit, 4 bit, 1 byte 0 to 100. 1 byte 0 to 255, 2 byte unsign, 2 byte float, 4 byte float. Feedback indicates if it's a read or write group address. 
If an address is set as feedback, an LED informs you if there has been a status value from KNX. If you turn on Link FB in Pairs option, it sets up pairs of addresses. The top line is the command address, and the bottom line is the status feedback. Data types and the command address value will be synchronized automatically. Don't forget to use the Excel table to simplify filling address lists and also the design example to facilitate different types of control. That's it. Thank you. Awesome. So do you have anything else you want to say about the plugin or anything else you want to say about how people can reach out to you about more development? Yeah, we recently deployed a project, for example, uh, with a Spinetix digital signage system, um, allowing total integration with the blinds, occupancy sensor, and the, to report technical alarms. Mm. So, as you can see, Emily's uh, door to smart building is wide open. Yeah. I think that's a really cool thing about QSIS and the ecosystem is that once we have a plugin inside of QSIS, we're able to add that plugin and integrate it with other plugins to be able to do really cool things and automation. So thank you so much, David, for coming today, and thanks everyone for watching. Thank you very much, Emily. Yeah. Thank you.